Hello again. We're going to be talking about identity and in inverse matrices, or matrices. Uh, matrices, pardon me. And an identity matrix uh, can be in a couple forms. Uh, well, it can be in many forms, actually, but we're only going to talk about 2x2 two two and 3x3 three three identity matrices. So this is a 2x2, two two, and that's a 3x3. Three three. All it basically means is that you have a 1 that goes diagonal all the way, it just keeps going diagonal from left to right, and everything else is a 0. So 1, 1, everything else is a 0. Here, 1, 1, 1, everything else has to be a 0. That's an identity matrix. Basically, what that entails is that if you multiply an inverse uh, matrix to uh, a matrix and it's inverse together, you're going to get this or this as an answer, or you're going to get something else as an answer, depending if it's a 3 by 3, 4 by 4, 5 by 5, etc. Uh, identity matrix can only be a square matrix, too. It can't be 2 by 1. It has to be 2 by 2, 3 by 3, 4 by 4, 5 by 5. Now, I've got this problem here where I've got this hypothetical. I've got this matrix A. I'm just calling it A. It doesn't matter. And its elements are A, B, C, and D. Its inverse, then, would be 1 over the determinant times D, negative B, negative C, A. And the way that I get my students to try to remember that is this. Uh, D and A switch, and then B and, negative C, B and C just become negative. That's the way I always just remember it. So basically what I want to do is I want to figure out the inverse of this matrix. That's my problem that I'm presenting right now. Uh, we're going to see if one exists uh, as well. There is one thing I have to preface. If A, D minus B, C is zero, that means that there's no determinant. Uh, it means that uh, the determinant is zero, which means you can't divide by that, which means it doesn't have an inverse. Let me say that again. If this A, D minus B, C, whatever it ends up being, is zero, then it doesn't have an inverse. Uh, that said, let's go ahead and try this problem. So I've got this matrix A equals negative 4, negative 3, A, 6. You can use any variable you want. You can use Z. But if you use Z and you want to find its inverse, use Z, negative 1, inverse of Z. But A, we're going to stay with that because we've been doing that anyways. So I want to figure out its identity matrix. I'm sorry, not its identity matrix, its inverse matrix. So I go ahead and do that. That's going to be 1 over AD, which is negative 4 times 6, which is negative 24. I should put parentheses around there just in case you don't do that uh, multiplication right. And then it's subtracted by 8 times, neg 8 times negative 3, which is negative 24. So it's negative 24. Uh oh. Figure what's going to happen. And you multiply it by, uh, you switch the matrix, so it's 6 and negative 4. You switch the A and the D term, and then this becomes positive 3, and this becomes negative 8. That's the inverse is equal to 1 over negative 24 plus 24. 6, 3, negative 8, negative 4. That denominator is 0. Six, three, eight, negative 4. There is no matrix that, uh, excuse me, there is no inverse to this matrix. Since that's uh, 0, it makes it undefined. No inverse actually exists. That will make it equal to an identity matrix. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a problem where it actually does work, but this is just the case where it doesn't. So, see how that goes. We'll be back. Okay, take it easy for now. Goodbye.